Hi there, my name is Lucas and today we are unboxing some brand new lights that I just bought. I thought we'd make a video about it. I was gonna buy the Aperture 300D Mark II and I decided to go with these instead because seeing comparisons and things like that, it just kind of makes sense for, for me to go with these lights instead of the Aperture 300. I thought it might be interesting to talk about it for a little bit and to just give you my first impressions straight out of the, the gate. So let's do this. Okay. So I believe this is the dome. So we're gonna leave this for... Not sponsored. Okay, so these are the Godox VL series. Cool, so you get a little box with filters. Oh wow, they're pretty, pretty good built. Got a blue, oh no, that is a green. And we've got a blue. And we also got a red. Oh shit. Hold on. Okay. So these just came in now. This is literally the stand that I bought for these lights. It's good, so I can actually try out the lights. Okay. Oh, okay, so it comes with like a little matte box kind of thing with filter. Wow. Really like the built. Um, regardless, even though they weren't as expensive as the Aperture lights were, they weren't cheap by any stretch of the word. So it's nice to see that they're like decent built. But it's time for the party. Okay. And that's it. This is is the Go Ducks. Nice bag. Happy came with a bag. Usually finding bags for lights are a painful task. Let's see. Okay. Over here it comes with the strap. Uh, in case you want to take this over your shoulder. I would not recommend this bag is very heavy. A V mount. Probably fit the stand so it keeps stuff all together. Lens cleaning paper. Always useful. Oh, I have a lot of, okay, got funnels. Seems really good. Looks fine. Out of space. Okay, and here we are. This is the VL300. It's pretty big. Things pretty solid. Seems like a nice build. Oh, it has the, uh, the fence on the bottom. Uh, comes cover up in the front. Just nice a little safety, I guess. If I figure it out how to. Oh, oh it comes with a little push thing. Uh, very nice, very nice. Oh, that's. That's useful. Uh, power cable, remote control. Remote control. Seems pretty straightforward. Not a lot of buttons on it, but it has a little screen, which is something I saw the Aperture 300D didn't had. It's like in there you had the, the functions, but you couldn't really tell like a percentage of the light or anything like that. While this one, shows you which is good so whenever you're doing a shoe something that i find it really important if you want to recreate a certain look knowing the exact percent like if you're shooting something on 20 percent, you need to recreate that somewhere else knowing that it was exactly 20 percent uh, is the best idea otherwise you're trying to figure it out uh by eye which never uh oh got a power Got a power bank here, over here. 
and we ah, there you go which is a control panel control panel takes two v mount batteries um, currently have any v mount batteries but i plan to get them so having these would be a definite saver uh i got power button some brightness adjustment uh, this i'm assuming for the control remote and you got this little thing which is to hang it into the stand which looks pretty great uh that's it apart from that you have some manuals some chinese manuals um a little introduction thing to the lights um this might be useful find out the the app and a little bit of more how to use it uh and you got some plastic crap ah uh, yeah nice i really like the build it feels very strong uh like the the bag it's kind of silly but if you buy a light that doesn't have a bag there's another two, three hundred pounds on top of it, and most likely won't be made for it. So you have to do adjustments to it, and that becomes a whole headache. Quickly open this one up. Oh, this one a little more straightforward. Oh, nice. Great. Uh, nice. I like. Again, I appreciate equipment that comes with its own bag. I'm not too sure about the build quality of this, but to be honest, this is just a dome, so it wouldn't be it wouldn't be heavy equipment in here, anyways. Um, yeah. So this is from Laufa, Laufa, Lauf. I got the the biggest size, uh, just because I want this light to be my heat light so I want to make sure it's as soft as it can be meaning as large as possible uh, something very nice that I saw here is that they have that same uh, aperture mechanism that I don't have to literally put light per light holy sh this is huge I can't even reach the inside of this thing oh my god okay I'm gonna I'm gonna set up this whole thing and do a little bit of a test with the light. This won't be a like in-depth review, but for now I'm just gonna set all this up. It's the next day now. Uh, yeah, I decided to take a little bit of time and have a look at the light and have a better feel for it, so that this will make a better video, I guess. Got the remote connected, which is pretty cool. It's nice to have the little information in here, so I know exactly the percentage uh, and everything else. This is the light with the dome in front of it. This is at 10%. Uh, the one thing that I noticed with the, the remote, it can't go down to 1% on the remote. Only in the light itself can go down to 1%. And here you start off at uh, 10%, which I don't think is a big deal. You wouldn't usually have the light too far away from you if you have a very low percentage anyways. This is 20%. This is 30%. I, I really enjoy the gels. Gels are great. I like the there is a little magnet to it. So you pop it into the left side and there's a magnet to the right side. So it's very easy to put in and take out. I do wish they had given it a couple of extra frames so that I, I could make some gels myself. 
but they do give you like four different gels. Maybe they have it for sale. That's something I have to look into it. But I would like a couple of extra, just a frame so I can make some gels myself in case I want a different color or a a specific diffusion or if I want to mix colors uh, I think that would that would have been great but it is really nice the the matte box thing that comes with it it's really good very sturdy let's, let's keep moving so this is 50% so uh, just just for reference I've been shooting this whole thing in rec 709 I'm nodding log so that I don't do any adjustments to the colors so that you can have a better reference. I'll usually look my videos and do a whole color thing. But for this one, I'm gonna keep them just as Rec. 709, which is the LUT that comes within the camera. So it's the most close to natural, I guess. 75%, 100%. And this is, this is just blowing out now, which I think is really nice. Uh, but yeah, this, bring this back down. Personally, something like this feels about right. Uh, I need to have a look at the footage and see how it actually looks like. This is a 35%, but that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this was useful, helpful, informative. If you're in the market to buy some lights, uh, I would recommend this, I guess. Uh, I haven't tried them into the real world scenario thing, but they seem pretty reliable so far. Need to put them through some projects and see how they actually hold off but so far they look pretty good. If you like filmmaking and you wanna see more of these videos, hit subscribe down below. I make videos every Monday and Thursday. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.